Continuing on with New Hampshire's White Mountains, Mount Kinsman, here I come. Good morning, everybody. I camped at the base of Mount Musalak last evening out here near the roadway, probably about 100 yards just inside the tree line there. And I've already used the O Naturel Privy services this morning. So I'll walk 100 yards and right here is a privy, right in the parking lot. <laughs> Opportunity missed. Have my sights set on Kinsman Mountain this morning, which if I'm successful, I will have two consecutive um, 4,000 footers or 4,000 plus footers um, in the bag for the day. And I have to admit, I'm a little beaten up from Musilock yesterday. Um, definitely a great introduction to the, right, to the White Mountains. And uh, took me longer than I thought it would. And I knew my mileage was gonna decrease. And my descent out of Musilock really took much longer than I had anticipated. So this morning, I am getting ready to head up Mount Wolf, which I will be climbing that and another bump beyond it just like that before I actually begin to finally ascend Mount Wolf. And then beyond that um, will be Mount Kinsman. So no longer am I gonna be dreaming about 18s or 20 mile days or anything like that uh, for some time to come here. So I'm gonna try to make, I'm gonna try to get over Mount Kinsman and at least to the shelter if I have time, I will make the descent down into Lincoln, New Hampshire, where I will backtrack to the Notch Hostel. I have some, I have a resupply and a new pair of shoes, some other gear coming into that hostel. I'm pretty sure most of it's gonna arrive today, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to do Kinsman, and it may be uh, tomorrow till I get into the Notch Hostel to pick up my gear. My shoes may not be there till tomorrow, so. Onward and upward. Uh, feeling a little tattered, yeah. Moose Lock was awesome. That was pretty crazy. And I have a feeling I haven't seen crazy yet. My buddy Freefall uh, climbed Washington the other day and he had 90 mile an hour wind gusts. Now I know I had some um, really good wind gusts up on top of Moose Lock, but I don't think they were 90 mile an hour. And they were tossing me around like a rag doll. I was kind of shocked at how I was getting blown around. Uh, but I know there is potentially much worse conditions to come. So I do have my, uh, hold on, my Mount Laurel Design uh, rain mitts that I had kept with me um, from my winter kit. They're a real light glove and it'll help break some of the wind. I literally, if I'd have stayed up on top of Moose Lock yesterday, I would have, I would have definitely had frostbite in my, uh, in my fingers. It was much colder than I had anticipated up on top. So getting ready to, uh, there it is, Kinsman Ridge Trail. And uh, onward, upward, pushing north. White Mountains, everybody, loving it. Finally made it to the base of Mount Wolf. Everybody been riding a roller coaster here this morning. I um, haven't been shooting much footage. I'm trying to uh, move as quickly as I can because I really want to get Kinsman in the bag today. So from where I am right now, it's uh, a little after 9 a.m. I want to make it 4.2 miles to the Eliza Brook shelter. And that is actually at the base of Kinsman. So um, I will eat lunch number one right there and make some plans to get ready to start climbing. I've already run into a few Sobos and Flip Floppers here this morning. Of course, they're very excited to almost be out of the whites. So I can always stop and try to get whatever information out of them I can to use to my advantage. Onward and upward, everybody. Mount Wolf. Eliza Brook Shelter, mile 1811.1. Kind of reminds me of my Lincoln Log set when I was a young man. All right, everybody. 
Kinsman, here I come. Let's get ready to climb. Well, you just saw that happen. Just as I turned my camera on, my trekking pole had to take a hike. Now I gotta figure out how to get down there. <laughs> oh my. Okay, I got that resolved. The White Mountains seem like they wanna take my trekking poles from me yesterday. I lost one of my baskets off the end of my trekking poles. Uh, Climbing up, stuck it down along one of the ledges, and I got my pole wedged, and it would not come out no matter what. I stood there for probably three or four minutes trying to pull it up out of the hole, and I needed to set up my uh, tent and both my trekking poles, or I would just have to use a stick in, uh, you know, in the place of one of them if I lost it. But I need these things up here. So I gave it a good yank, busted the, uh, the basket right off of it, and I got my pole back. So onward and upward. Look at how beautiful this is, everybody. This beautiful pine forest and this is the easy part right here I've been hands-on a little bit coming up the ascent of Kinsman beautiful day today perfect hiking weather it's probably about I'm guessing maybe 62 63 degrees or something like that but it's gonna get a bit more chilly as I head on up top just look at this amazing view up here, everybody, through this field and pond and the rocky ridge up across the top there. Now, I'm not certain, but I have a feeling I'm probably headed up top right up there. Beautiful skies. Just me and the trail out here right now. So peaceful. I have about a mile to go here until my first summit. This is some of the easier terrain. I hate to admit it, but I actually fell back there. Not by the pond, but just after I had dropped my, uh, dropped my trekking pole. <laughs> trying to get situated was trying to fumble around with my GoPro and <laughs> oh, I didn't hurt anything thank goodness but this kind of terrain everybody I gotta be honest you, you have to hang on you got to pay attention <laughs> either use both your hands or both your trekking poles and um, filming and walking is not necessarily recommended so uh, just look at this I'll share more at the top, everyone. Definitely getting a bit more technical. That is almost straight up, and you can see way up top, which helps add to the perspective. There's a southbound hiker coming down. Pretty tough. Hoping some of this footage turns out for you guys. I had to put my trekking poles away and go hands-on when using a lot of roots and, and trees to try to pull myself up here. It seems a bit safer. A couple southbounders said it gets really gnarly at the top. is pretty, pretty amazing out here. I'm just hoping these crystal clear blue skies hold out for a view at the top. Everyone said it's pretty spectacular up there.
A view from the summit of South Kinsman Mountain, mile 1813.6. This is what I've been working for all day long, everyone. There's barely a breeze on top. Crystal blue skies. South Kinsman Mountain, everybody. Elevation 4,358 feet. I do not see any type of a plaque up here to video or take a photograph with. I'm moving on to North Kinsman Peak. I'll be stepping back down uh, below 4,000 feet and then back up to head to North Kinsman. I'll be there in about a mile. Compared to yesterday on Musalak, I can't get over how perfectly still it is up here. Perfect conditions. Yesterday, wind gusts, I can't even guess what the wind gusts were. I would say at least 50 mile per hour or greater. And my fingers were numb in a matter of a few short minutes. I could barely even work my GoPro or touch the uh, the pad on my cell phone. This is absolutely perfect up top here today on Kinsman. A view from North Kinsman Mountain, mile 1814.6. I just can't get enough of this spectacular view on my descent down off of Kinsman. Kinsman Pond Shelter, everyone, mile 1815.1. Quick look inside. And a view of Kinsman Pond. Really thinking about calling this place home for the evening. Okay, everyone. Made the very tough decision not to stay at that location. Um, sadly, well, I guess not sadly, there's a there's a $10 fee to stay there by the local trail club that maintains it. Now, that $10 is supposed to go towards the cost of a caretaker residing there, although there's no caretaker there. And as part of value of paying that $10 is for a thru-hiker, you're able to um, get a pass um, from the caretaker that can actually be used for discounts at the huts and some other things along the way. Um, no caretaker there, by the way. Um, and they only have tent platforms. I did not see any uh, regular tenting areas that I can set up because I use my trekking poles to set up my duplex. I really don't feel like staying in the shelter tonight due to my history with mice uh, who follow me all up the trail. And I'm not afraid of mice. It's just, they damage your gear, you know. And when you hear them scurrying around, you can hear them. You know, I just like to get a good night's sleep. So typically try to stay in my tent. So I'm going to head down off the mountain here, everybody, uh, a little bit further. Um, it's getting closer to, I guess, maybe 6 o'clock or something like that. I'm not going to go too far. I'm going to need water. There's a water source down here. And apparently there's some uh, tent sites on down the way here. It's about almost five miles down 
to the road and I do need to go. I've been mentioning the hostel I need to stay at. I got some gear coming in. And even if I were to get there today, it's not gonna help me much. Some of my gear is there already and uh, some of it won't be there till tomorrow. So I'm just gonna take it easy. I mean, beautiful day, spectacular day. Um, so let's get on down here and see if I can't find a place to set up camp. This is a little bit of what my descent has looked like. And as always, that's much steeper than it appears. And that's actually where I came from. And this is where I'm headed. All right, everyone, a quick look at the Lonesome Lake Hut, mile 1817. A view of Lonesome Lake, everyone. If I'm not mistaken, that's Franconia Ridge in the distance. Another view of Lonesome Lake. Okay, everybody, I'm camped out here at mile 1818 along a pretty good sized stream that you may be able to hear flowing in the background. That is gonna give me 14 and a half very hard earned miles today. Uh, Kingsman did not disappoint whatsoever. And I'll tell you what, that was one heck of a climb getting up to it. Um, actually, I had to put my trekking poles away and pull myself up quite a bit on, on roots and trees and rocks. And uh, it was actually very, very exciting. And the weather up top was absolutely just perfect weather. Had some great views and everything, and I hope you guys enjoyed those as well. Um, I am very, very tired, so I'm going to get some sleep here tonight and uh, probably sleep in a little bit tomorrow. I have a few miles to go until I can get picked up to be taken into um, North Woodstock into the Notch Hostel where I have some packages and gear there and food. So uh, that's going to do it for me this evening, everybody. Thank you so much for walking along. Thank you for watching Wild on the Trail. Take care, everybody. Good night.